Well, some good news for Lakeland area bonding requests. DFL senators released their bonding wish list today, and it includes $1.9 million for the continued expansion and development of the mountain biking tra trails within the Cuyuna Country State Recreation Area. Also $18 million for BSU's Hag Sauer Academic Learning Center project, $6 million for the Northern Dental Access Center in Bemidji to build a larger facility, $5 million towards a veterans home in Bemidji, and $14 million for a new social services building and school on the Red Lake Indian Reservation. The Red Lake money, though, came under fire from one lawmaker today while the bill was being introduced. What I see happening now is uh, we are not only going to ask our taxpayers to, to build a school, uh, and, I, and I believe yet another school, um, now we are going to begin putting up a social services building on tribal land. And the question becomes, what's, you know, what's next? And I, and I am concerned about uh, giving preferential treatment to a select group of folks. And um, I'm not so sure that it's entirely fair to my constituents who have to pay for their own school and have to pay for their own social services building but because this is a closed reservation, we are going to pay for it for them. It's about making sure that they, they have the ability to actually have a school building and, a, and pay for a school building when they don't have the capacity to do it on their own. And so it's, it's, about, it's about trying to help out people who don't have the money and to give the kids an opportunity to get a good education. The overall cost of the Senate DFL bonding bill is $1.5 billion. Governor Dayton's plan is $1.4 billion. House Republicans, though, plan to propose a much smaller plan, around $600 million. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.